hello everyone and welcome to this video now in this this video i'm going to explain about the projects now if you've been watching my videos lately on my youtube channel you'll find that I'm, i've been reviewing some of the tracks and courses from datacam but this time i would like to review the projects now these things you won't find it in any other platforms uh, i mean i've been checking a lot of platforms if you if you if you do please let me know in the description below here in projects you can see let me go, go to the filter projects and in projects you can choose if you want an sql project or python project or an r project and you can also filter it uh, i mean if you want to practice projects in data manipulations using let's say pandas if you're using python or matplotlib and seaborn or you want to uh, test your statistical skills you can just click here let me just go click on python and now you can see i have all these projects which are we are using python so this one is an nlp using python and this one is a data visualization and machine learning and a statistics just like a complete project okay now one thing i would like to mention that lately i mean like i think one two weeks ago uh they introduced something called an unguided project usually the projects were guided what does guided means you know what let me just go and show you i already took this uh this project let me just click on it and and let's see as usual you're gonna have a project description and you're gonna have all the steps and the guy who's uh, this one is samia khalid she's the instructor and you won't find the data set here usually in courses they put the data sets here but you'll find the data set at the end of the project after you finish everything they'll give you the notebook that uh, it's going to be a jupyter notebook with the data set let's just go and click on start project and see now this one is a guided project guys okay i i, I haven't checked the unguided yet so it's, i said you know what let's make a video and i check it with you guys uh as again i said it's going to be all jupyter notebooks so it's, it's going to be easy to read and, and and see everything uh i already did that uh here you can see it can give you a little description about the problem that we're trying to solve here are the instructions now it's called guided because they they tell you the instructions what you're supposed to do and they'll give you a hint and if you cannot get the hint you can click on show the answer and click copy the code and then you can just come here and control a and control v and then shift enter and it's gonna work now i already did this one like a while ago they just changed the interface and changed the entire theme of the uh website which is nice and each cell you're gonna find a description and you're gonna find some codes and you're gonna see some results you can see there are some arabic stuff chinese and stuff okay now the jupyter notebooks are really well designed and really uh, explained in details and the steps are also explained in details you can just click here and st task 4 is for the cell 4 and whatever the code is written here you're gonna find it in tech hint or show the answer so this one is this one get it that's why it's called guided because they give you the steps and each cell corresponds to the task so it's guided they will tell you step by step that is okay the first time you're gonna load the data set and then you're gonna do some eda and then you're gonna uh, start train and test and split or if it's a statistical uh, project then you're gonna start doing some distribution and stuff so it's guided it's gonna tell you everything to do step by step and explain everything now when do i tell you to use this project after you finish let's say the first track which is um, uh, that uh, that um, data scientist with python track now there is a track called data literacy which is i uh, already did a review on it that track entirely is for theoretical courses that you won't be able to do this type of project because they don't teach you anything about a practical thing maybe they, they do but not in depth in order for you to go to the projects at least complete a whole track whether it was a machine learning with python or data scientist with python or data analyst in r or data analyst in python you know finish a practical path or track and then now obviously they're gonna give you some exercises and there's something called skill assessment will they check your skills in python and uh, stuff but project will test your skill in an entire project and after you finish the track you're gonna end up uh, doing a lot of projects inside the course and after each course you finish they give you like um, 
a small project i think it's from from this section so i would let's say you finish the python data scientist track or st statistics in python track so you come here in the project and in filtering choose statistics and the language python they will show you all the projects which are uh, in statistics and they're using python and try to finish it now try with guided which is going to tell you everything to do okay now let's go to the unguided okay let's go to the unguided and see by ourselves i haven't checked it yet here in pra wait. here in practice you can just go and practice let's say you want to practice for cleaning data in python just click on it they give you some challenges uh, no time and you're going to earn some experience points and you're going to just click on start they'll tell you this data frame they complete the code to return the output and just click here and okay this one is an R and R no no it's Python why it's telling me reset in R oh, okay press the keyboard R shortcut to go to the reset keyboard shortcuts okay and then you just go and do it okay um, this will help you after you finish every um, course now you have a course called cleaning and data in Python and you have manipulating data frames in Py and uh, pandas and you have cleaning data in R there are courses and there are topics also so let's say you want to practice your um, skills in cleaning uh, data in R. Just click on it. It's going to give you some snippets, of course, just as uh, just like I showed you. Let's go, just click here and see. Okay. And select the output. Names DF1. that's not right it's this one the ID okay no, I'm not an R person I'm a Python person so that's why don't get me wrong <laughs> uh, right now I'm studying the statistician with R um, track uh, it's, it's a really nice uh, track it's uh, gonna teach you statistics and why using R but there's gonna be another video uh, right now just go to the projects and let's see unguided project Okay, this one is guided and unguided. Let me just click on it and see how it's gonna be unguided. Learn the difference, start the pro, unguided, okay. How it's gonna be unguided. Now, code along video recording available to watch in project. Okay, so there are videos in unguided. Let's just click here and see. I haven't I haven't checked that. I said, let's make a video and, and see. Data live coding, what is this? So I have a Jupyter notebook here and i have a bunch of instructions what i'm supposed to do so here i can also take a hint and show the answer and just copy and just write it here but where is the unguided portion i don't i don't get it okay it's working yeah, okay yeah it's working where is the unguided section I don't get it is it this one so there is a video that shows me oh this is Kelsey McNeely I'm with the instructor success team here at data camp today we will be enjoying a session led by Richie Cotton a curriculum architect here at data camp before I hand over just again I'll be posting the link to the project uh, functions for food price forecast you will need to be logged in the session is being recorded and the recording will be sent to everyone afterwards. It will also live in the unguided project along with the instructions and solutions. Uh, okay, so that does, that's nice. I thought unguided is going to be harder than guided, but it apparently turned out that the unguided is much better than the guided one because the guided one, they give you instructions and they give you the codes. Here they give you instruction and the code and they also give you a, a full video with explanation. That's, that's really nice. That's amazing. And it's a, a video of one hour. Wow. Wow, guys. Wow. Datacom really playing the... Taking the game to the next level. <laughs> I haven't seen any other boot camps are doing the same thing. That's that's really nice. Like an, an entire hour explaining this project and solving it. And I'm solving it with her. Wow, guys. Let me just go and check another one. Is also videos available for that one or not? Or is it only... Guided, unguided, unguided, where is unguided, unguided, and yeah, this one. 
this one is guided and unguided let's go unguided and start the project and yes there is a video wow hello everyone and welcome to the data camp code along today we are going to be walking through the unguided project exploring the evolution of lego and as a quick introduction my name is kelsey mcneely i'm with the instructor success team here at data camp Today we will be enjoying a session led by Justin Saddle. Our instructions on the right we have our context. We will drop every row that contains a missing value, regardless of which column it's in, which we don't want to do because we'll lose nearly half of our data because we'll be dropping every row which contains a missing value including number of parts however if we use the isn't that nice guys i mean you have the project you have the instructions you have the code and now you have a detailed explanation of the project wow wow guys okay i don't want to talk a lot about the projects but you know now you guys know what are the projects in in general and uh, when to take them you should take them after you finish a uh, good uh, track let's say machine learning in python track let's just go in and, and show it to you so we have python we have data scientist in python i finished on uh, this one and i finished machine learning you have data analyst you have machine learning you have data scientist uh i'm gonna be i already told you that but i would rec uh, recommend that you guys go to the data literacy track first and then data scientist and then machine learning and then deep learning uh, check check out my other review videos for the, these tracks and you will understand what I'm trying to say uh, because this is how the courses are structured so again please uh, use the link in description below you might get a discount sometimes they do have a discounts that come and uh, I think the projects are only in premium again you have to check go to the pricing section and check the, if the projects are available in the monthly subscription or the premium one it's it's worth it guys i just showed you everything is detailed explained so thank you so much don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video bye bye